stuff that happened and I've just been too exhausted to do anything because overnights will kill you but we're gonna check out something really cool today so without further ado if you haven't realized there's a theme on this channel I like using the drive channel on my amp now for years I was a clean amp load the front end of it up with pedals but since I got this VHT T50 I've been really loving the dirty channel and it plays really nicely with the glorious Mesa Express 550 Plus Dirty Channel. So I'm always trying to find the best combination of pedals to run with them. But I don't want too many. So today we're checking out the Bondi FX Sick As Overdrive. It is a Klon type overdrive pedal boost, shall we say, K type? Transparent germanium, two words I wouldn't put together normally, but it's got a bass and it's got a treble control. Oh, it's really bright. Let's see what we got. So we've got volume, gain, bass, treble, a two position switch. One's a little thicker, more compressed. One's a little more open. We've got a soft click switch. That's always nice. There's a secondary mode on it that you engage on the power up that is a mute. We've got an in and an out, which weirdly enough aren't labeled, but I guess when you lay it on your pedal board, you know anyway. It runs on nine volt DC, and I think it takes about 60 milliamps of power, so nothing. Internally, it turns the nine volt to 18 volts, so you get lots of headroom. 
It comes in this really cool, funky enclosure. And uh, there's not much more to say. Standard size enclosure, King of Tone style enclosure. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna do each amp individually. We're gonna stack them together. We're gonna use some effects from the Line 6 HX effects. And we're gonna see what we get. On the intro, you heard this heavily modified Yamaha T-style guitar. These are Seymour Duncan P90s, and this is some sort of Tex-Mex bridge pickup. I haven't used P90s on this channel before, so I figured I'd give it a go. But we're gonna try it with the Strat now. All right, guys, so this is guitar directly into the Express. Toggle over to the VHC. Bridge pickup. Both together. put a little piece of green painters tape over it because the LED is very blinding for the camera but it is nice for on stage so we're gonna set all the knobs at noon except for the gain and here what it does neck pickup both amps Let's pull the gain up to noon and see what happens. A little bit of noise because it's germanium. Flick the toggle switch in the up position. my American friends watching this definitely know in the last couple of days how hard it is to keep a guitar in tune in the middle of winter but we're not gonna judge that's just the VHD boost on the uh, PC.
this sound, let's uh, let's throw in the uh, express. <laughs> Somewhat happy. Old school rock and roll there. Position is a lot thicker. Pull the game back to ten o'clock. Bump the volume up to about eleven. Bass all the way. That's just the express. BHT at the current settings.
takes it back to 12, boosts the treble all the way up. <laughs> Sixty cycle hum would use. Let's go both together. Oh, the knobs are 12, and we'll flick the switch again. Individually, it did something I didn't really like to each amp. But if I was getting the two of these amps together on the drive channels instead of using any of the boost features on them, I would definitely slam this in front as my boost. It uh, it thickens up and gives a fatter tone to it all. I thoroughly enjoyed it with the single coils, the Duncan single coil stacks, and the uh, Duncan custom B90s over there. That was a killer tone for me, personally, with both amps. Now I know that the D50 is an amp that I find hard to pick drive pedals for, personally. And boosting in front of the Express is, uh, is equally as hard because their their specific tones really that blend really well together but I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below this was a demo of dirty amps with the Bondi FX to Gaz Overdrive because every video I've seen so far has been using it with a clean amp or a mildly broken up amp and these amps were pretty darn dirty, so let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll be back Thursday with a full in-depth demo of the VHD D50. We're going to open up the cabinet, see what kind of speakers inside of it. We're going to do a full walkthrough of the amp. It's going to be a long video, but it's definitely worth it because it is a D-style amp at a price point that no other manufacturer has hit so far. So, 
This has been Basement Pedal Demos. Sorry for the delay in videos. We're getting back to a regular schedule. Cheers, guys.